when you put an on fin to get a nice thin application and, and a pattern. And then you apply your clear over the top. And you can actually encapsulate with gel. Okay, so you can use the clinic to create your patterns and you can then go over it and encapsulate the whole thing with gel. If you prefer gel, you know, you're more comfortable building your structure with gel, then that's what you do. Any more questions? We've exhausted all the questions. That's good, because that means you've answered them really, really well. Let me talk you through what Anthony is doing right now. He's contouring the nail. That offers a fine that he's using, which is going back to the forwards from the beautiful to the rear. So it's called feather and level. You know, if you're used to filing from one side to the other and going across, trying to do feather and level is quite difficult. But I tell you what, when you get used to it, it's a brilliant way of filing. It cuts your time down dramatically. Not only does it cut your time down, but it actually creates a much sleeper looking nail. And what it does is it creates that line of light for you. You know when you've got really shiny nails and you can see the reflection and it's a really beautiful straight line down that nail. That's what Feather and Beverly achieves for you. It gives you a perfect structure. So it's, it's a really good technique to learn. All of the easy flow educators will teach you that method for filing. Hopefully we've got enough time to get at least one of these finished to a high shine. How much time have we got? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. They'll all be done. They'll all be done in ten minutes. So Anthony's getting a really nice arch contour going around the beautiful area. And then you'll see he files from side towards centre. That's going to give you that really perfect uh, cylindrical look to the nail. And Anthony's got a really special word for this. I'm just going to ask him because I can't remember what it is. It's a parabolic arch. Parabolic arch. <laughs> Has anyone heard of a parabolic arch? I haven't. But apparently that's your curve. Is that right, Mr. Yes. Bucky? Yes. It's curve as you're looking at it down the barrel of the nail. Cylinder for me. <laughs> so that's going to create that cylindrical look. Him filing side towards centre, and then lastly, that feather and bevel we were talking about earlier. I think Leanna's got four nails nearly finished, and then we're on the fifth one now. So we've got a combination going here of uh, oranges, pinks, blues, and yellows. In fact, just a little uh, nail back a little bit. That works. Perfect. Perfect. So the easy flow shape you see comes straight out from the nail groove. You get a really, really straight line from the nail groove. And that's what gives easy flow nails that really sleek, slender look. If you see uh, uh, any, anyone on the easy flow stand, just go and scrutinise their nails. They're absolutely amazing. Every single one of our um, girls, sales girls, educators, distributors have got beautiful nails on. So go and have a look. Lots of different patterns going on, flowers, 3D art. They're all stilettos. They're mostly stilettos. <laughs> of course I'm unique because I have a pyramid nail on. What are they called? Pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get used to saying it yet. Pyramid. Trapezoid. What is it? Trapezoid. Trapezoid nails I think <laughs> I'm wearing. <laughs> Anyone got any questions? You just want to see the finished result now, don't you? Five minutes. That's a tricky one. Because if you get someone like this, what they do with nails? Well, <laughs> it really depends on where you are. Now, what I always say to my students is when you learn how to do a set of nails and then you get really good at doing a set of nails and you know that you can demand a lot of money or a decent amount of money, you need to go and see what everybody else is charging in your area, right? That's the first thing you do. So then what a lot of people do is that they undercut everybody else because they think that's how they're going to get their customers. Ruth, it's not how we do it, is it? 
know. If you know your worth, you need to you need to be at the same price and a little bit more. Yeah? Okay, so but once you've established that level, okay, so it might be fifty pounds for a set of nails, right? Um, what I tend to do is if I'm using colours, I will add five pounds per colour that I use. So Anthony's used about four colours per nail. So for that set of nails, it could be £70. Right? Does that make sense? You're charging for your skill. And you're charging for a product that costs a little bit more than your ordinary set of nails. But that is a good question. And it's not about undercutting everybody. It isn't about undercutting. You know, if you, if you look about look at good quality customers, usually the mentality is that if that person charges a lot of money, then they must be good at what they do. And it, it works. Otherwise you're bringing the whole industry down as well. Do you not agree? You start undercutting and then someone else is going to come along and they're going to undercut you as well. And then it just brings the value of what we do down. But if you know what you do, and you know your work, and that's what you should charge. And let it be more than everybody else. So it's, you know, it's nothing to be afraid of. You get a better quality type of customer. Oh, I think we're getting somewhere now. It's getting exciting. 15 years in the nail industry, and I still get excited about the finished result. Oh, bless. Yeah, I'm not sad. I just love nails. I'm really passionate. I'm thinking things I'm sad, but I'm sure you're all just as sad as me. Not if you are. Let's get a bit of audience interaction here. <laughs> Nearly done. Nearly oh. done. You've got a minute per nail, So. And so just apply some oil. Thank you, Okay. And so use sand shark to remove all the file marks from the surface of the nail. And use some oil just to rehydrate the surface of the, uh, the skin and also just to provide a little bit more flexibility to the actual enhancement. And he's now using UV30, which we were speaking about earlier. UV30 is no ordinary top coat. We know that. It dries to plastic. Okay, so it's going to protect your nail enhancement. It will bring out those amazing colours that you've just used. Look at that. Getting excited already. <laughs> Draws out all those amazing colours. And it protects from UV rays as well. So it will keep those colours true. And it will also provide a fantastic shine. So what Anthony's done is applied some oil, rub that in, wiped it off, because obviously any oil residue and then the UV curtain went on to the acrylic. So he's wiped the oil back off and then he's now just coating them all with a, a coat of UV curtain. The table is out! Right in the middle of the screen. <laughs> yeah. And we're done. Um. So, Liana, do you mind if everybody comes and has a look at the nails? We get Liana off the stage, and then you guys just crowd around and get a look at these nails. Absolutely fabulous.